really important is the actual concept of translation. So um, we introduced the concept of uh, Ramon Jakobsen's classification of three different types of translation. So that's crucial to the first chapter. There's um, intralingual translation, which is translation between uh, within the same language. This could be a rewording in the same language, say, from English to English, uh, a dictionary definition in a monolingual dictionary, that kind of thing. Then there's uh, interlingual translation, uh, which Roman Jakobson called translation proper, which is the most conventional type of translation between two established languages, so between English and Arabic or French or, or whatever. Right. Um, and then the third type of translation is what Jakobson called um, intersemiotic translation. That's between two different um, modes of communication. So it could be between the written word and um, the, Im the, the image or okay. uh, music. Typical would be um, a film version of a book, for example. Right. Okay. Uh, and chapter one also talks about the history of translation. Mm -hmm. uh, it talks about the history of translation studies. Right. Um, and crucial there is the map which uh, Holmes, James Holmes and Gideon Turi um, uh, put together. Holmes uh, was a, said by some to be the founder of translation studies. What he did was to map out at a very early stage of the discipline what the study of translation was. Uh, and so he looked at um, what translation theory was, um, uh, what translation, um, what descriptive translation studies was, um, and also the applications of the study of translation to the practice of translation. That's an area he didn't he didn't expand very much. He looked at things such as um, translation aids, dictionaries, grammars in his day. Um, he looked at how to evaluate translation a little bit. Um, so um, that that area has expanded a lot in 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 recent times. And at the end of the chapter, and new to to chapter to uh, the third edition, is um, the conceptualization from uh, Luke van Dorsla, who who moves on a little bit from Holmes. Well, re really crucial is the concept of translation. Right. Um, and there I present uh, Ramon Jakobsen's classification of three types of translation. Okay. Um, there's um, intralingual translation, which is translation between two. Um, uh, within one language, say between English and English, this could be a rewording, a summary, a dictionary definition in a monolingual dictionary. Okay. Um, the second type of uh, translation is interlingual translation, which Ramon Jakobson calls translation proper, and which I suppose is the most conventional type of translation between, say, English and French or Arabic and Chinese. Um, and the third type is intersemiotic translation, which is between two modes of communication, between, say, the written word and a visual uh, image or music. And a typical example of that would be a film adaptation of a book. OK. Um, what else in, should readers look out for in Chapter 1? I try and set out um, a little bit of the history of the discipline and what translation studies actually does, because it may seem surprising, but um, only in the second half of the 20th century was translation um, taken uh, seriously as an okay. academic discipline. Right. Um, and it was James Holmes in the 70s and 80s who set out what his idea of what uh, the study of translation actually involved, and there's a, a map there in the in the first um, the first chapter, which uh, is based on Holmes and, and Gideon Turi's work, which shows um, what translation theory covers, what descriptive translation studies covers, um, and also how this relates to um, to practical applications of of research. So it's not just research that's uh, being done in a, an ivory tower, if you like. Yeah. It's, it, it has real um, applications to translator training and to the practice of translation. And you use practical applications throughout the book, don't you? I do, yes. Um, I always, uh, in each chapter there's a, a case study um, which applies the theory to a particular text or particular um, uh, context of translation. And um, I do try and bring out what the main... Um, what what the important point is for for I'd say a trainee translator or someone who's who's trying to understand how translation works.